ask them to open that door. It's, this seems to be clear. Let's change camera again. Hang on, I want Tash here. I want Tash holding our backs. And Denver or Mother Goose, can you please open that door? All right. I ordered that one to surrender. He didn't surrender, so I shot him. Okay. I have a strange voice. Ask Denver to open this one. And you can hear footsteps. <laughs> this is a very strange voice. Alright. If this was a silence, uh, stealthy mission, what I could do is I could order them to carry bodies around to, to keep them away from enemy side. I could carry the bodies myself, just like so. But right now, of course, they're all alerted, so I don't need to do this. I'm gonna put this one right here in this bed. I want you to, to relax. Alright, buddy. You relax, okay? You be cool. Tash is still outside. Um, so there's this house. There's a hatch here, which we can open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this, but I'm gonna order Denver to go over there. We can actually do this, okay? So we can open the map here, and we can issue orders from here. I'm gonna ask Mother Goose to go there as well. Uh, actually, no, Mother Goose is gonna is gonna come with me. I just want Tash to move her as well. And there, there he is. Denver's also there. And while they're there, I'm gonna jump down here. Oh, there seems to be movement. This was kind of hectic. As you can see, there's a lot of things happening at the same time. Those please advise over. Receiving you loud and clear, Thunder One. Sweep through objective Alpha and Bravo for any possible intel. Zeus out. All right, so we are now out of combat. So eventually, they should start to patch themselves up if the injury is bad enough. Tell them to regroup. So this one is locked. You can always kick the door in like this. See, see, um, I didn't have to order Tash to heal himself. He feels the area is safe. He has a medkit. He will heal him himself up. But the goose didn't. Why? Because he does not have a medkit. But I can always just, just mouse over, tap left alt, uh, left alt, and. Anyone close to him that has a medkit will um, heal him up. And there we go. Okay, so here are the files now. And mission is done. Mission is complete. I'm still injured. So, um, another question that we, we had the other day is, um, we have localized damage and yes we do in this case I was hit in the leg so as you as you notice I am limping and even if I try to, to run you will notice my limp okay so different areas damage offer different um, conditions to the player actually and you and you may notice this right now I'm 
fatigued. Why? Because I'm injured, I'm trying to run, I'm, I'm trying to complete the mission, but this has a huge impact on my aim. As you can see the crosshair, you see the uh, how big the crosshair, uh, the crosshair is and how fast that aim circle, that aim radical um, shifts. That is due to my fatigue right now. I cannot hold my weapon properly. And it, it, if I were uh, carrying um, a weapon with even lower handling, right now I'm just packing in a, a P90, which is a very simple, cool, hel um, good w handling weapon. Um, so, but if I was carrying, let's say, um, a Car 98K or a Mosin, it would be That's terribly, it would be uh, a lot worse. It would be really terrible. You could, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Alright, so this is it. And here you have the uh, the debriefing, what happened. So we came here, we cleared the area, we arrested uh, one subject, uh, at least one subject, I think, yes. And, um, I think so, yes, it was just one guy. Um, and we got the documents. We got a few injuries, but no one was K uh, KIA, so we're good. Okay, so there's a, a total of nine missions that you can, you can play um, in different settings. So this is under realism, um, just mission one, a lot of missions are super harder, <laughs> trust me. Uh, so Silverdew, I'll give you just a rundown of the basics. But Silverdew, you need to, let, let, let's go over to the briefing. Uh, on Silverdew, you need to uh, in infiltrate here. Um, you need to reach uh, up the apartment complex here, and then you need to secure to capture um, Azadje and extract on the marketplace area. There's a construction site. There's a roadblock. There's a lot of ways when, uh, with which you, well, in which you can complete this mission. You can. Um, there are several different outcomes. You can kill uh, the, the target instead of escorting him. Of course, it won't be the same. Um, you can try for a silent approach either through the construction site or through this this schoolyard right here um, and if, if you manage to, to, to run a fully stealthy mission there will be no counterattack. however if the enemies are alerted reinforcements will arrive and you will have to defend the extraction area until um, until the extraction vehicle arrives this is uh, Silverdew let's get back not a board, not a board. board. So right here, uh, Coldstone. Let's jump over to the briefing. This is a mountain, uh, a mountain mission, wide in the open. Insertion and extraction. There's a roadblock here. There's a cabin, and there's an enemy encampment. And we know of the existence of some tunnels in the area, and we need to. Uh, to rescue a hostage and, um, if possible, destroy uh, some caches of weapons and ammunition. And um, match setup. Blue Typhoon. For Blue Typhoon, this is an old derelict factory. Uh, here's our insertion and extraction point. There's a scrapyard, and we need to gather some ev evidence inside the factory. So this seems like a pretty straightforward mission. Let me tell you, it's not. Okay, it's not. I won't go into many details, but it's not. It's a super hard mission, I'll give you that. I can actually play it, or try to play it if you want to, but it's super hard. Uh, then Sitting Duck. After the ledger. Sitting Duck, uh, we are tasked with investigating a, a van um, recently abandoned on uh, what is what was supposed to be an abandoned gas station here. So this should be a, a pretty straightforward mission, and again, it's not. Surprise. Um, then the Golden Angel. Uh, this Emergency is arguably emergency. one of the missions where people have uh, have had more difficulty with. So um, friendly helicopter was shot down. There are at least two pilots alive. You need to uh, rush to the crash site, uh, and then you need to 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 uh, secure them and extract them. The thing is, the enemies are alerted. They are pouring in from all <laughs> all over this mountain, and it's not an easy mission. You you, you need to, ideally you would recover the black box. Uh, you would um, recover both pilots and extract. Uh, th this is super hard. Trust me, it's really super hard. So um, 
because first you want to take your time so that you don't rush things but also enemies are chasing you 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 need to be on the move okay and one of the uh in both pilots they're not they're not um operators such as you they're, they're not as good with weapons as you are and uh well you need to rescue them that's it's a, a very interesting mission but Emergency. arguably a very difficult one Mark. Now we have Urgent Fury, we, we insert um, on the beach and we need to secure this radio station and there, there's the extraction um, point close to, to, the, um, to the village. This is a, uh, one of the longest missions that we have um, and yes, this is, we, we actually use this scenario for uh, other game modes. We, we use this for advanced viewer. If you uh, install the mod Survive, which is a mod that we created, a zombie mod we created, this um, this mod also uses this map. Okay, so this is a it ha it has very different environments, and um, and it, it allows for different approaches. So when you need to go from the radio station to to, to the village, you can take um, this route over here across the the, the fields. You can take this route over here across this garage, or you can even take the main road up to the village. Okay, but this is a very small village, but still, um, if once enemies are alerted, there's a bunch of people just pouring in. And then Sea Dryad, uh, another mission that's not easy. So, uh, Mark, this is the, the, the second to last mission of, of the game. Uh, so, this is an on the dock, you, you insert close to the um, to a small dock with the, with the boat. Uh, you need to gain access to uh, a ship here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the the, the briefing uh, show and explain this to you. This is this is better if I do this. He is aboard a vessel scheduled to dock in Delotsi Harbor tonight. Our sources indicate he is coming to arrange the deployment of WMDs somewhere in the city. We cannot allow that to happen. Moving covertly, you will need to make your way across the docks and onto his ship. Once on board. You need to recover evidence of where they're hiding the WMDs and take Marco down. Your infiltration point is along the jetty north of the ship. The only way onto the ship is via a single gangplank. That is, unless you feel like climbing. We do not know where Marco or the documents are located, so you're going to have to search the vessel. If you're discovered before you reach Marco, he's going to put as many of his troops in your way as he can. So if the alarm sounds, get ready for a fight. Let me be clear, your orders are to capture Marco to stand trial. But if something goes wrong, one way or the other, his part in this ends tonight. Okay, so this is about as difficult as it sounds. Uh, you need to infiltrate silently, um, reach the lower decks, and there are four or five decks on the ship. You need to search the lower deck for Marco and end him. Marco is armed. <laughs> uh -huh. When you issue an, an order, he will surrender. But if you don't issue the order, or if he, you know, if he sees you before uh, you see him, he will shoot you and he will kill you. Uh, also, this is one of the missions where you actually need to take care of the bodies that you shoot. Because if enemies see dead bodies, then they, they will sound the alarm. And a lot of people from these warehouses here will start pouring in. And the mission just becomes way more difficult. So this is uh, the second to last mission and this is the last is mission that we have which seems to be rather simple. Insert insert this military camp um, and find the weapons of mass destruction hidden there by Marco. Um, of course well the enemy is not really happy about that so they will counterattack, they will bombard you and uh, it's, it's, it's a, a a hectic mission to say the least um, and of course th this is one of the reasons why I love this mission is uh, most buildings here are made of wood made out of wood which means the, 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 the scenario is a lot of uh, a big portion of the scenario is destructible so uh, houses aren't that good for cover here okay so this is let's see what we can what, what, what can we do which mission would you want Thanks me to, to play with the bots well, let's see if we have any any sort of AI uh, multiplayer games going on that we can join if the uh, ah, kind of high pings at this point of course it's Sunday it's 10 23 in the morning 
so I take it not that many people are playing right now. So let's do a, another single player mission. Thanks to using the evidence uh, okay, so we can do Silverdew. Golden Angel, let's do Silverdew. Using the evidence recovered from the compound, we've been able to identify the location of a high value target, David Isadjo. He's currently hiding in an abandoned residential district in Yogeshi. Thunder One, you are to infiltrate the area and secure the HVT. We've got rather pressing questions for him back at HQ. So your objective is to capture, not kill. You will infiltrate the AO via a discreet alleyway. The target is located in an apartment block to the northwest of your insertion point. Advance with caution, Thunder One. Hostile forces have established a roadblock outside the building and patrols throughout the AO. Inside, you will need to sweep the building, locate the HVT, and arrest him. Once you have him in your custody, proceed southwest to the marketplace. Hold that position until evac arrives. And if you could please try to keep the target alive, it will save us all a lot of bother later on. That will be all, Thunder One. Good luck. All right. So, infiltrate this area here. Um, capture David Azadje and extract him. So, we could try a stealthy approach, or we can just go loud. Or we can do a mix of both. Let's try to do a mix of both here. here. I'm going to keep some silenced weapons on me and on my team. And th this will actually allow me to explain one thing. So let's do this. I'm going to issue uh, secondary weapons. Let's change to this. I'm going to issue only secondary weapons um, silenced. Just to show one thing here. Fine, we need to remove something here. Let's remove this. All right. So we we also have the the th this should do it. This should do it. This should do it. Actually, let let, let me abort because there was one thing that was making me mad because I was toying with it yesterday, and I'm not happy about it. My voice. Look at this. Contact. Contact. I have a visual. I have a visual. So let's change into a different voice. Alright, this is better, right? Alright. Uh, we can change, because here we can change the uh, the body type, and the, and the, the male face visual. type, and you can almost, always, uh, almost, sorry, damn. Uh, you can also change, you can change the voice. So. Alright, so this is better. I was changing the pitch. Okay, so let's do this. Roger this. This is Zeus. Radio check and sit rep. Over. Thunder one. I'm so my voice is different now. Standing by for go. Over. Zeus, this is Tornado 2-1. Reading you loud and clear. Two clicks out from evac point. Standing by for signal. Over. Roger that. Thunder one and Tornado 2-1. Operation Silver Dew is a go. Zeus out. Thunder One, this is Zeus. HVT location confirmed. Two-story building northwest of your location. Sweep through and capture him alive. Do not let him escape. Zeus out. Okay. So, uh, they're quiet now. So, um... Let's open the map here. We're there. There's a patrol of four, plus two there. I, I turned off um, thermal penetration on, on, on buildings. So if there's anyone else on this construction site, we will not be able to see them. We are unable to see anyone inside that um, the main building. But what you can see, there's a roadblock with people here. One, two, three, four, five, and a patrol of four more. So nine guys on the main road. Um, on that area there are two and two more and at least one more over there we can try and take the uh, the construction site but to do so and this is important this is why I wanted to, to add uh, a silence weapon I'm gonna change to my pistol this means I am now carrying a silenced weapon and as you can see all my teammates changed to their silenced weapon they will try to keep fire discipline um, they will avoid shooting unless they're seen uh, and if you're 
shooting an, a silenced weapon, they will try to um, shoot their silenced weapon too, or try to re refrain from, from shooting. This is important because sometimes people um, have like, like a, a silenced pistol on them, and um, and you 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 pack your your uh, your AI friends with uh, let's say uh, a Car 15 or an AKM, and you're shooting your AS Val or your MP5 SD6, which is which are silenced weapons, and you you're you're asking yourself why are they using pistol instead of the rifle I gave them? Well, you're shooting a silenced weapon. If you're shooting a silenced weapon, they 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 understand that they should be silent as well. All right, so be careful with that. We're gonna try and approach the construction site with silenced weapons to see if we can take them down and move stealthily across the uh, construction site. So there's a limit to how much you can. Okay, there's two there. I'm gonna ask them to focus that one I'm gonna take this one out I'm gonna carry this body carry that body Alright, so we were spotted. And the enemy just sounded the alarm. We were trying to We were trying to keep things silent, but well, no luck there. Okay, just 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 drop the body. Goose. Go. Copy that. Alright, so they sounded the alarm. Which is not good for us. Let's regroup, boys. Copy that. Area clear. Roger. Move out. Copy. Fall in. Copy. Copy that. The alarm sounded, so we're trying to make this kind of fast. A lot, lot of enemies. We have uh, one, someone with wire cutters, so let's let order them to cut the wire here and we should be able to infiltrate so right now I expect them to try and be on the lookout for that area and we will try and pick this lock here and infiltrate quietly on the building despite the alarm already sounding Using a silenced weapon here. Changing back to loud weapons. So right now I'm gonna order them to take over here. And we need to search the house for where the guy should be or can be. Okay, there he is. All right, I'm gonna order one of them to arrest him. All right, so regroup. Let's see if we can. All right, we got enemies. Okay, a bunch of them. Spray, spray, spray. I'm out. Alright, I managed to order all of them to surrender. Alright. So you can order them to surrender by holding, by uh, tapping left control. Um, but of course, they will take into account a multitude of. Uh, let me pause just to explain here. Uh, the multitude of 
factors that uh, is considered before they, deci they, they decide to uh, surrender or not. In this case, since I we, we had just mowed down a lot of enemies, the, uh, the remaining enemies see, whenever they see a friendly uh, going down or getting shot, they will lose some of that, some morale. And that, uh, when morale is low, they will be very prone to surrendering, which which is what happened. So the moment one of them surrendered, the others surrounding him were more prone to surrender. The hard uh, the hard part sometimes is to get one to surrender. Okay, so if they're injured, they are more prone to surrender. If you're close to them, uh, if they're caught off guard, if they have no ammo, or if they just see mayhem happening, and if, if they see that they're just getting slaughtered, they will be more prone to surrendering. Okay, so this is why the four of them uh, surrendered, the whole group surrendered. All right, so we need to go into the extraction area. Let's order them to focus that dude. And here we are. Let's see if we can extract this. So right now, Tash is escorting him. I'm gonna order Tash to stay there. Be advised, Thunder One. And Denver over there, and Mother Goose over there. And I'll be here. I now need to wait. I'm gonna pop an incendiary over there. Reloading. This is spring and spring. I'm I'm trying to cover all the angles here. Nice one, nice one. Mother Goose, I want you I want you here. You're too exposed over there. Back backing frag. So as you see our friendlies will throw their their frags if they feel it's adequate. Right. Mo moment of tension here. I'm gonna pop a smoke here. I don't want our high value target dying. So I'm gonna pop a smoke there. And I'm gonna try and hold this flank for Tash. Well, I expect Denver and Goose to hold the other flank. 28 seconds. I'm gonna try and delete them. Throw flashbang over there. It's not ideal, but I don't know who's coming. Tash, Tash. Tash, Tash, Tash. I want you there, dude. I'm gonna help Denver here. I got you. Got you, bro. Oh, this is bad. All right, all right. Oh, I'm su I'm super injured. We lost Denver. I've asked him to regroup. Come on, Goose. All right, we got the high value target in. Come on, Tash. Come on. We're done. We lost Denver, but we got the message done. The mission done. And this was harder than expected. Alright. So we lost one. We lost one. He was, I mean, I was trying to, to rescue him. Uh, one thing to... to Keep in mind is uh, even if they're down, your your friends or even you, you will still be able to shoot. I was expecting him to shoot um, the guy that actually shot us both, but I just couldn't hit the shot. Okay. So bear in mind, <laughs> bear in mind that uh, <laughs> I've been told I make the game look a lot easier than it actually is. So sorry, sorry about that. I, I, I'm level thousand. So sorry. Okay, different mission, Cold Stone. Let's do this. I don't want Denver with a shotgun for this. 
I want Denver with Oh yeah, let's let's go with a heavy weapon for this. Let's go with um M two four nine. No. I want you with a L eighty five. Okay, this sounds good. We there's no need for silencers here now. I want you carrying one more demo charge. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, not gonna need it. Um, as for Mother Goose, let's let's change operator. Right now, I think we can use uh, recon for this or a sniper. Let's go with Avalanche. He's back in an M14. He's super light here. Look at this. 28 kilos. Uh, no armor. An M14. A lockpick. A claymore. A bunch of rounds. This sounds good. This looks good. Yeah. And... Okay, I'm not going to go with the P90 this time. Right now, I think I should be going. Okay, we can go with the staple car 15. Still have the um, I still have the the flashlight from before. So this should work. So we have Tash. He's still with that. Actually, let's have Tash with the KS this time, this time around. Yeah, he's still cool. And we have an M14 in the back. Okay, so different weapons. Actually, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the A47 for this one. Just want different weapons here. All right. Shall we start? Let's let's watch the briefing here. We have learned Rose Adje was planning on heading to next, a sabre encampment in the mountains. The camp is protecting armaments used to supply their troops across the country. According to our intel, they are also playing host to an unwilling guest, a reporter named Anna Petrova. Your mission is to search the area, rescue the hostage, and destroy their operation. According to seismic surveys, there is a system of natural caves running through the mountains. Most of the tunnel entrances have been blocked by the enemy, so be sure to pack some explosives. The four Forces stationed here are better equipped and better trained than those you've encountered so far. I hope you're up to the challenge, Thunder One. All right. So this is it. Infiltrate. Search all this area for uh, the HVT and caches, uh, caches of weapons and ammo. Destroy them, and then extract the, the hostage. Should be easy, right? All right. So. We have the UAV again. I'm gonna ch um, uh, shift to thermal. Okay, so there's a bunch of guys there in that encampment. At least three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with a patrol. And then there's these two bunkers. One, two outside. Three, four, five. We don't know if anyone else is there. And another patrol there. Stationary there. And then there's. This cabin here in the woods, and somewhere around there we should have the tunnels. All right, let us start. Let's see what goes from 